Hey guys, Thunderstud here, and we are finally getting a, I'm going to call it Neos Revisit with a new skill favorite duel. Took me forever to get around to using it. It's a doozy. Konami really went hard to make heroes a little relevant again. I'll try to be quick, I guess. So, uh, you need four different elemental heroes, normal elemental heroes. With different names, obviously. So we have Neos, Sparkman, Avian, and Burst Matrix. So you can throw away a Neospatian or an Elemental Hero. So virtually any monster in our deck. And you can mill another monster from your deck to the graveyard. And then you get a Miracle Fusion from outside your deck. You could do it a bunch of times. You can do it multiple turns. You just have a Miracle Fusion on deck and you get to set up your graveyard with whatever monster you want. It's honestly kind of crazy. We're running more Neos to set up the graveyard even further. We got Favorite Hero. Maybe run more Favorite Heroes instead of a uh, Monster Reborn. And you could even cut back on one Mystical Space Typhoon to get even more Favorite Heroes. Because all you gotta do is summon Flame Wingman. Then you can get a Skyscraper with Favorite Duel the same turn, even if you set up that Flame Wingman by throwing away one of these and then milling it, summoning this with the Miracle Fusion, you still get the Skyscraper. Then you can use Neos Fusion or Miracle Contact, whatever you need. You can even use just Grand Mole to dunk on him. We do have the Grand Mole, Grand Neos, Brave Neos, Grand Merger, who's just a few normals. And then we do have Shining Flare Wingman. They did add another Wingman, but he just can't be destroyed by battle. It's all about Shining Flare Wingman. When he destroys monster by battle, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack, and he gains 300 attack for every elemental hero card in your graveyard. Strong little card. Generally not our always go-to boss monster, but you'll see him in the in the replays. So other than that, it's a really strong deck. It's this it's carried by the skill, obviously, but it is a really strong, really consistent skill, so it's pretty scary to think. But uh cool, a massive win streak with this deck. Still think it's going on its win streak, but uh crazy crazy stuff. Glad I finally got to it. Heroes always find a way to be propped up so let me know what you guys think and thanks for watching all right here we are facing an anika boom you actually see a weird amount of well i guess it's not weird she just came back but uh an inflated amount so she is in fact trained starting with express knight two back row a gustav max we actually get a cutscene as well. Not bad, not bad. So pretty good first turn as she's going to make us take a thousand damage. Now we got a first matrix. Favorite duel, we milled her and the avian, so we're really going to be able to take off. We go with the miracle fusion, banish those two. That is our Flame Wingman. We get the cutscene now. And we are a hero, so we can beat a cannon or a train or whatever other non-sentient creature. He's gonna book a Moon Us. That's not gonna stop our skill. The skill only needs you to have summoned Flame Wingman. He doesn't even have to still even exist. Just that you summoned him. Now we're gonna Miracle Contact. Brave Neos, he's got a book of moon. We got two books of moon, and enough to do his combo. It's like a perfect hand for this boy. Now he's going to Gustav Max. He's going to bring out the Juggernaut, but he doesn't want to use its effect. He wants to clear the field, and you need a bit of an attachment so you get that extra swing. Gets his Express Knight back to the hand. Now we gotta do is get over 4K. We're going to be able to do that no problem at all with Favorite Hero. We just throw away a monster to add our Miracle Fusion. Boom, boom. Banish a bunch. Look at that shining 
flare wingman. He's 3100, but he's gonna be way higher with favorite tool. 5200, not that it matters. Just by destroying that monster, he's gonna take the full brunt, 4k damage. Great, great stuff, guys. All right, here we are facing a Seto Kaiba. He's on a little win streak and uh, rank up of his own. He does not get it today, though. We got Miracle Contact and a Neos Fusion. Stratos can work for the skill himself, or he can search something that will. We're gonna normal summon Stratos into the Avian. Now we can just throw away the Avian into the Burst Matrix. That's going to be a Miracle Fusion. That's our Flame Wingman already. We get the cutscene of him in the Skyscrapers. So by bringing him out of the Skyscrapers, he's actually going to bring the Skyscrapers with him. We get to use the second part of our skill. Same turn. Boom. We get Skyscraper. Gotta be sure to activate it. Neos Fusion. Grand Mole's going to target and return Maiden. I thought he would bring out a spirit, then it was just a question of if he had a blue eyes in hand. But he just makes it easy on us and brings out a blue eyes, allowing us to keep our skyscraper. So any of my fusion monsters can swing over him. We swing over him with the flame wingman, that's gonna be 3000 damage for killing a blue eyes. And we can easily finish him off with the Stratos. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing the Yami Yugi. We're going second for win streak. No super map for a boy, he is using 20 cards. We have a Neos Fusion and some Grand Moles, that means we can use the skill. He passes his turn. He used the skill, throw away an Avian, so we're waiting for next turn. We have a Neos Fusion we can use now. Throw away another Grand Mole. Then we set a Neos Fusion. Play a Grand Mole. We're gonna hit Destiny Draw, we're gonna hit it big. I don't think he has Destiny Draw though, it's Master of Rights. Still not a huge deal. He's advanced ritual art though, pretty interesting. And he's showing strength and unity. We're gonna let him try to use the strength and unity before we hit it with the mystical space typhoon, just in case he happened to have another in his hand or something. We chain to its effect and it will negate. Magician of Chaos destroys our poor little Grand Mole, and then he's able to use Iotramius. Timaeus. And uh, Dark Calvary. He is over Neos, but we do have a Neos Fusion, and by banishing the Neos Fusion, he gets a little weaker. Now, all we gotta do is top deck a monster, and we did. That lets us mill the first matrix. We have two Miracle Fusions. We can use one to bring out our Flame Wingman. I think we get a cutscene, right? Wow, super old cutscene. On a monster that virtually never saw any play. For Konami to give it some play now is pretty funny. But here he is. Now we get to use the skill. I use the other Neos Fusion instead of the Miracle Fusion. So we have plenty in the graveyard. Now I played, I was playing this on my phone. I played the view where it's top down, or not top down, where it's like your diagonal to the, uh, or kind of parallel to the game mat and the monsters pop out and stuff. I had no idea this skill puts it there face down, so I have to swing and use my own Neos Fusion because I didn't activate Skyscraper. It should just be activated, so big misplay there. He goes Dark Magical Circle into Navigation. Doesn't even set the Navigation though. Destroys one Neos. Now I can use Skyscraper. We could have probably used Miracle Fusion, but we just swing over the Dark Calvary and finish him. So we had an answer for everything, even without targets. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Zuzu. We're going second. This will bring the win streak all the way up to 9. Now we have a Neos Fusion. We got two Grand Moles, which means we can use one for our skill. This will Space Typhoon, a Amazon is Onslaught. Super random. Neos Fusion. Floodgates us. But we got a Grand Mole. We're gonna be able to return his monster and return our monster in case we wanna use it 
as fuel to use our skill once again. Now he's going to set a monster once again. We get a miracle contact we can use. We finally get our graveyard set up properly. We got two miracle fusions. They're both live. They're not once per turn. We have our flame wingman. Him among the skyscrapers. With his crazy, crazy monster arm. I guess he's half woman too. No way. He's fused. Favorite duel brings out the skyscraper. Now we can use Miracle Contact. We'll save the Miracle Fusion for later. If there is a later, which there is not, as Grandiose sends him back. Great stuff, guys. Well, right here we are facing a Joey. We're going second. He's full red eyes, or that's a Millennium Ring sleeve. We got a handful of monsters. He is, in fact, Red Eyes Fusion, Milda Buster Blader. There's that Slash Dragon, sends two back row, calls it a turn. We top deck a Neos Fusion, favorite duel throws away a Grand Mole and a Neos. That means we can Miracle Fusion. He's going to Red Eyes uh, Chain, playing with Chain. We're going to bring out a Brave Neos with the Miracle Fusion, then we're going to Neos Fusion out the Neos Knife. I should have did another Brave Neos, honestly. But uh, it's okay, we go with our Grand Mole. We're going to bounce out this Slash Dragon. We don't actually target to do it. He steals my Neos to do it. I tried to scare him with the Neos Knight, and he did get scared with the Neos Knight. Neos Knight can't attack you directly and do any damage. So, uh, he might have done this in the end phase anyway. But uh, we destroy his boy. That gives him a retro dragon. Brings the red eyes right back. But I'm going to be able to attack into him again. And that is the turn. He has to pass with just the one card in hand. Favorite duel again. That's first matrix and ABM in there. Even normal summon stratos. Oh no, there's ABM. We don't have ABM in there. Miracle fusion. That's going to be another Brave Neos. So this guy is already in plenty of trouble. It's actually already a lethal amount of damage. As we don't need Neos Knight to be able to do any direct attacks. So uh, big win streak with this deck. It's obviously super strong. You just always have a Miracle Fusion. And you always have a pretty decently set up graveyard. Like really no matter what you're doing. Konami fixed the limits on Neos Fusion. Maybe run more favorite heroes. Favorite hero is very devastating when we do have it. It's just even more situational than before because of how you gotta get Skyscraper out. It takes a few turns. Still, very fun, very effective deck. If you love heroes, Konami is propping it up by a skill right now. It's an easy one to do, just special summon high level warriors. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.